All right, watching Trooper videos will slow down. The thing was, I watched a lot in California. Out here, I changed casino so much that to play eight hours on the Vegas Strip sometimes will take as much as like 12 hours with all the uh, casino hopping. In Lake Elsinore, playing eight hours took like eight hours and three minutes. I would play and like go to the bathroom one time and that was it. So I would play a good amount of hours some days and then go back to my room and there was like so much of the day left. Uh, so I had a lot of time to watch Trooper videos. It's slowing down out here in Vegas. I've been back like 11 days. Anyway, five more videos of uh, the Troopers. If you're not gonna go back and watch every single one that I really enjoyed, all during his uh, daily video series. I think it was around 75 he put up um, in a row. Uh, 75 days in a row he put up a video. I was in one of them, I think. Anyway, uh, not about me, it's about Trooper. The first one was number 23. It was called, He Only Asked For A Coffee. The, the title and the main part of the video, nothing to do with why I liked it. But you get to see the Planet Hollywood room right after they moved it from in front of Earl of Sandwich. So they moved it from Earl of Sandwich to what I would call the best poker room location ever in the history of the world. And right around the eight to nine minute mark in there, you get to see some uh, really great shots of where it was, just center in the casino, like no wall, nothing. All the foot traffic in the casino would go by it. And uh, those were some of the reasons why it was the greatest location that ever existed. Uh, State of the Trooper, which was a uh, daily video 33, uh, that was just deep. Uh, things were not going well, but as you could tell by now in the present day, uh, Trooper didn't quit. So, um, in addition to the the content, if you watch it, um, I really like the like videography of it. A lot of it, he was talking as he was showing, like a slow moving shot of Vegas scenery, and I think that added to like how deep and serious it was. Um, I would recommend going back and watching the whole thing. I like that first video, go back to eight minutes and just look at uh, the allure of Planet Hollywood poker back in the day. Uh, but this video, I would go back and watch the entire thing. Uh, number 48 in that series was called I Will Never Quit. Similar to the last one, um, things weren't going great, but he had no intention of uh, moving back to Florida or moving elsewhere or uh, giving up or stopping poker and he did it. Um, it wasn't easy the whole way. If it were, these probably wouldn't be enjoyable videos to watch, and uh, I enjoyed that one also. Uh, for a different reason, number 52 I really liked. Uh, it was called Pump It Up. Uh, this was the main part of the video, but in the same video, he says they're about to build the CVS just south of Bally's, and they're about to build the Starbucks inside uh, Cosmo. I don't remember a time. This was like 2016, this video went up. I don't remember a time where neither of those things existed. They still exist now, and I don't remember what was there before or the fact that they weren't there. Like, for as long as I could remember, there was that CVS outside Bally's. I get goldfish there all the time. In 2021, I got a ridiculous number of Arnold Palmers there. And uh, not that I go to uh, the, the Cosmo Starbucks, but a lot of times when I walk between uh, Aria and Bally's, there are a lot of routes even though it's not that long of a distance, but you could take some different routes. I go through Cosmo a lot, and I pass that Starbucks. I never remember, I don't remember a time where there was something else there. So that was just cool that like those two like landmarks to me weren't there and that they were being built at the same time, or at least Trooper noticed uh, that they were being built on the exact same day in the same video. And uh, number 60, I'm gonna spoil it a little, but it was called The End of the Road. It was an April Fool's joke. Um, maybe you would have been able to tell quickly, maybe not. I know in real time, like very shortly after that video, I was playing at Bellagio and a guy from Colorado uh, was talking to me because he recognized me from some of Trooper's videos and he said he was totally fooled until the end. Um, my brother, who isn't even into poker for a very short stretch, was into Trooper videos for like a month and uh, he said instantly he wasn't buying it. Um, so you could watch it. Uh, I think the story could have used uh, some editing to make it a little more believable, but it was a cool uh, change of pace from uh, the normal video. So those were uh, five more that uh, I really enjoyed on the way back. Uh, started watching, I think the Biloxi videos were 2012. I'm up to like the end of 2016, and I'm gonna keep watching, although the pace is gonna slow down 
uh, now that I'm back in Vegas. And remember, rice is a spoon food. <laughs>